Hello everyone. So today we'll be solving an another lead code hard problem, and it is uh, it has been named maximize the score after n operations. So in this problem, like we have been given an array called nums, and uh, it has got size of two into n, and uh, we need to perform perform n operations on this array, and in each operation, so like uh, we can choose two elements, and then we can like in the ith operation, we can choose x and y two elements. And uh, we can multiply i into GCD of x uh, x comma y, and we can then remove x x and y from terms. So we need to return the maximum score we can receive after performing the n operations. The function uh, this function is obviously the greatest common divisor of x and y. So like uh, seeing the problem, we can uh, like uh, understand that this problem is basically grouping the two into n op elements. Of the array into n pairs, and then uh, taking the GCD of each pair and multiplying it with one into two into three, uh, one two three four five up to n. So like uh, there are like two op two approaches to solve this problem. First, uh, like first let us let us let's take a look to the constraints. So the n is less than equal to seven. So this we can see that this value of n is very low. So we may do brute force kind of stuff, and uh, the ranges of the element is uh, from one to less than ten to the power six. So, like uh, we can take a look to one example. So this example says that the nums has got two elements, one comma two. So obviously there is one pair possible, and the city of of this is one, and one when multiplied with one will give us one. So here is another example. In this like example, we can take GCD of three comma six. Like we can choose three comma six first time, and then multiply GCD of three comma six that is three into one to give get three, and then GCD of four comma eight to get four four into two eight eight plus three is eleven. And similarly, there is one more example. So like there are two approaches to solve this problem. Like one approach is to like uh, find all the ways to make pairs, n pairs out of this. Uh, To n elements of the array, and uh, then multiply them with one, uh, one to up to n. So obviously, like uh, we can make pair and then take GCD, and uh, obviously, like uh, we can multi sort those GCDs to multiply the smallest GCD with one, and then second smallest with two, and third smallest with three, and so on. Because like uh, when the large number will get multiplied with larger number, then uh, the output will be more la more large. So basically this is one approach and uh, there is one more approach that will be more dynamic programming kind of approach so in that approach what we can do we can consider a state and uh, this state will basically have one number that is we can call it operation so ith operation and uh, we can have a mask so this mask will represent the number of elements present Like number of elements remaining in the like array, and this i will represent the ith operation. So in each operation, what we can do, we can take two available elements out of this mask, and we can have the GCD of that i comma j. So we can't call it i. We can call let's call it a. So yeah, and uh, then we can multiply it with a because it is the ith operation, and then we can recurse for I comma one like a comma a plus one, and the reduced mask. Let us call this. So we can extract uh, extract i and j from this uh, this mask to get this mask, and we can then take maximum of all these values for all possible i and i comma z. So like uh, we can do complexity analysis. So This i a can range in uh, from one to n, and this mask can range two to the power n. And choosing this i and j will take another n into n. So this is basically n q into two to the power solution. so this solution should pass all the test cases 
let us try implementing it so first of all like uh, we will be needing a dp recursive function so this will give us the maximum possible score for a particular mask uh, after starting from a particular a so we can first declare it like since the each element is less than equal to 10 power 6 and uh, number of elements are like 2 to the n so basically less than equal to 15 so this some maximum sum should fit in in teaser data type so i'm using the teaser so let it be a then we can have masks and then we can have our vector and then we can have one thing that will be m number of elements in array nums so yeah, yeah one more thing is that uh, here n should be 2 into n because like let me check because original length of the num array is 2 into n and uh, this n should have 4 so that can be ignored obviously yeah. so basically it is 2 n into this yeah so let us first calculate m and m equals to nums dot size and now what we can pass ith operation and mask can be 2 to the power m minus 1 and uh, can pass thumbs and then we can pass them so this will fetch the answer for us now let us try to this so let's have an unordered map to store the results and uh, it will map from end to end so i will be making a key using these two values so since like uh, a cannot be greater than 10 I can multiply mask with 10 and then add a to make a unique key. So I will call it lookup and instead of declaring lookup here, I can also declare here and pass it in the function. We can do this, look this one. Only like make this function description larger. So first of all, we will be checking whether this mask is zero or not. If the mask is zero, like we can return zero. And uh, other next thing will be to construct a key. So we can add a and multiply mask with ten to make a unique key. So first check whether that problem is solved or not. So we will be using lookup dot find. And uh, if it is not solved, then we will be solving it. Yeah. So in this case, it is not solved, and uh, in the last, we will be returning the answer. So just in case it is not solved, we will be solving it and storing the result into the map. So let us call the result as max val. And uh, now we need to find the i and j two elements out of this mask so i can range from 0 to m and uh, if i is present in the mask so we can check it this way then we can check for j so j will be i plus 1 so in case j is also present then we can take
the GCD of these two elements. So we can use inbuilt GCD function. And nums of i, comma nums of j. And then we can make use of. Then we can recurse for the remaining elements. So we can. reduce this mask to remove i and j from it and nums and n so basically this after execution of these two loops we will have max value and we can store it in here in the map so this should give us the answer let let us analyze the complexity of the solution. So, since we are using memoization, so the total number of states will be i into mask. So, I will go up to n. So, it will be n. And mask, this mask will go, will have 2 into 2 to the uh, 2 n value. So, here it will be yeah and uh, then for check uh, for getting i and j we have to test nested loops of each of m each of m iterations and m is basically 2 into n we can like ignore constants so yeah this will be n cube into 2 to the power n we can write like 2 to the power 2n as 4 to the power n also so this should work like this should run this would pass all the test cases for this value of n so let us try running it yeah so this space sample test case is passing we can now try submitting it yeah so it got accepted so thank you guys.